Hey guys, this is uh, Richard from Welsh Tech. As you are aware, there's another review I'm going about to do. Uh, this is the Silver Soul 135 from Thermorite. Uh, you probably have seen the unboxing video, which did quite well. Uh, me referencing, saying that uh, not to uh, watch out. To be fair, I will say that again. Not to uh, you really do need to watch out. Thermorite is really gunning for that part of the market and with this little air cooler which I reckon is very comparable to anything that as you can see it just the sheer design looks like something from Noctua. Uh, I've got benchmarks here this time though with benchmarks I've done actually something a bit different I've done it with Ada, Ada 64 but this time I have put in FPU which is for the uh, AVX instructions so I done one without it and I done it with with it and the temperatures weren't bad um, so the temperatures weren't that bad uh, the performance of this little air cooler wasn't <laughs> really that bad either uh, I was really surprised considering how small it is yeah the fans only a 135 but the size of it is tiny as you can see by here look at the size in it it's, it's dirty Look at it, it's like a miniature version, it's tiny. Right, so let's get into the benchmarks. I've done uh, some benchmark testing. Uh, the testing I've done is basically the same ones I usually do, but this time I thought I'd try something a bit different. I'll put them up here so you can see them. Uh, I'll start, what, start off with AD64. Now with AD64, I've done it without the AVX instructions on which the max temp was a 58 celsius that's without it on that's just the cpu but with avx instructions on the highest it went was 74 celsius now for this tiny little air cooler that is a that's fantastic i couldn't believe it that this little air cooler managed to cope with it and they were both run for five minutes so I give a good time to heat up. Um, I've also done it with user benchmark. User benchmark was 43 Celsius on max. And then we've done 3D Mark CPU test, which was a max 61. The Fire Strike max, I put that in because it loads up this, the, uh, the CPU as well as the GPU. And obviously with the GPU heat as well, putting around in the case, it also helped. Uh, it also goes against the CPU, so it makes the CPU run hotter. I just wanted to make sure that, that this cooler could actually control it. So the fire strike was 54. Uh, sorry, CP. Uh, yeah, fire strike was. Uh, this was um, the normal one. This was a 54 Celsius on the normal. On the extreme, it went up to about another degree, so it was 55. Uh, I've done also. Cinebench R23, that was a max of 64. Cinebench R20 was a max of 64 Celsius, and performance test was 66. Now, should you buy this? Um, it's a good air cooler, but obviously I think it's a bit more of a niche thing, because obviously a lot of people ain't going to buy a tiny air cooler. I understand that Noctua has really small air coolers, but... It's all down to your personal preference. Uh, me personally, I mean, I kept it in my test bench for about a week. So, I mean, you know, the sheer, the, the, just the, the uh, look of it looks really nice in a blacked out case. But I think if you put it in a different type of case, like a white one, then it, it wouldn't exactly look nice. Uh, it's, it's a very nice looking air cooler. It's got a premium feel. The packaging is very premium. But there's one downside. That fan that is on there is very, very loud. That's why I think Noctua has beaten this. Performance, it's up there with all the best. But it's that, it's that fan. That oh, so all right. Look, I love your products. You guys are fantastic with me. You send me what I ask you to. But you need to start doing more silent, optimized fans. Because if you want to reach out into this side of the world, in Europe, 
the US as well as the UK, you've got to make sure you do a silent based product. Now a lot of your other air coolers, they're all majority of them, the ones I've done, are rather loud to full tilt. Yeah, at fifty percent you can you can't cure it. But one hundred percent it's rather loud. So it's really up to you guys. Now I'm gonna remain unbiased because at the end of the day this is me doing a review for you to a product that you're potentially looking at to buy. If you guys don't care about acoustics and the noise doesn't bother you, then fantastic. It's a good air cooler, it performs fantastic. But if it's something you're more silent optimized, then obviously you're gonna have to look at something else. Uh as for air coolers, the quietest one they've actually had, believe it or not, is the Burst Assassin and the Assassin King. They were the quietest out of them all. There is the PLS Assassin, which is a very popular air cooler at this time. That was a fantastic air cooler, and it still is. I still recommend it. It's fantastic. And with this one... I do recommend it, but I'm going to remain unbiased at the end of the day. It's all up to you. If you want silence, I wouldn't go with this one. If you want performance to match the aesthetics, this one's fantastically for you. It's fantastic. If you want a blacked out look, it's fantastic. it looks beautiful. But you have to make sure that the cons weigh out the the positives the cons are it's very loud the positives yes it looks nice it's very small it compact it doesn't take up a lot of space but you have to make sure that you put the cons into consideration so yeah that's my review it's a good cooler but it's rather loud so don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like and also don't forget to check me out on my TikTok as well as Facebook and Instagram because I've got more content coming from AOC as well as Bits Power again and Thermorite are sending me more. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.